next on Dress to Kill. Your challenge today is to style an outfit that goes from day to night. This is a dress. So at night, this whole thing is going to come out and her pants are going to come off. All right. <laughs> this is Dress to Kill. Welcome back to the workroom. Blair, in your last challenge, you put together an outfit to meet the parents. While you did consider your audience, you didn't pay much attention to fashion or trend. Corey, in your last battle, you took our advice and delivered fashionable yet simple airplane attire. Thank you. So let's see what you guys can bring today, because as you know, what's at stake is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to be a fashion stylist for Glamour Magazine. Awesome. Your challenge today is to style Latricia and Magdalena in an outfit that goes from day to night. Stylist, you'll have 10 minutes to complete your look. And of course, your favorite little surprise. <laughs> yeah, of course. Of course. <laughs> it's lace. It's lace. No, you do not have to use this piece exactly, but we'd like you to incorporate any lace item in this wardrobe into your look today. Wonderful. Good luck to you both. Your time starts now. I wanted to be a stylist from as early on as I can remember. At four years old, my mom would dress me and soon realized that I started putting outfits together myself. My grandfather and I had a very close relationship. I grew up in the back of his store, spending the summers with the seamstresses. So it's just been my lifelong dream and I'm living it. Okay, let's change the shoe out. Let me have you take that off again. Darling. My love and passion for fashion stems from my mother. As a kid, I always watched her getting dressed, and I kind of picked up on that from her. So it just became so natural for me to just put my outfits together after a while. The era of the underground club scene in New York City, late 80s, early 90s, really opened my eyes and introduced me to more European high-end fashion. It just broadened my horizons. So how are we doing? Can we do a chignon, something on this? You want to do the side? Yeah. Two minutes. This is your day look at the office, and then tonight, I'm gonna take this off. Mm -hmm. This is gonna be your little clutch. All right, everyone, time's up. <sighs> we will see you in there for our deliberation. Thank you. Hello, stylists. You remember our judges, Brooke Danielson, Associate Accessories Editor for Glamour Magazine. Hello, Brooke. Hi, Brooke. Hello. And Christina Perez, Style Development Editor at Glamour Magazine. Hello, Christina. Hi, Christina. Hi, guys. Blair, tell us what you came up with. Very cute, skinny jean. I love the comfortable flat sneakers with the little studs on the toe. A great functional bag. It goes back to the shoe. It's a big enough size that if she's shopping and she needs to change for evening, she can have enough room to put all of her evening attire in this bag. Then we've got a lace top, and I paired it with a pop of color with a fitted tailored yellow blazer. Can you show us, without the blazer, kind of how you would transition it into night? Yes, so actually this is a dress. So at night, this whole thing is gonna come out and her pants are gonna come off. And All she's right. got an entire <laughs> dress underneath. Okay, so why don't we see the whole night look put together now? All she's gonna do is pull her dress out. She's gonna take her pants off, take the shoes off, and then switch them out with her evening shoes and accessories. And here's evening. That's quite a bit of stuff to carry around in your tote for evening. Would you feel comfortable carrying that much stuff around? If you're running around the streets and you know you're gonna be out late at night, then you kind of have to factor in that you're gonna have a bag full of things. It's very interesting. I've never tucked a dress into my pants like that. But it's something to think about. It worked. Well done. Thank you. Thank you, Blair. Thank you, Whitney. Corey. Yeah. Tell us what you put together today. I love the contrast of the lace pants pairing with the uh, vertical stripe cardigan with the short sleeve knit under it, the flats, because she does, she works in the office, and I think her bag is very transitional. But it's a secret agenda inside the bag, her okay. accessories. Let's see that secret agenda. Okay, so she takes down her hair, mm -hmm. she's gonna put on her pumps. 
Okay. And she takes the cardigan off. She can put it over her shoulder if she feels like it in case it gets chilly out. And then she has a clutch inside and then she has some little stud earrings just to give it a little pop. And now she's ready for cocktails and dinner with her friends. She sure is. <laughs> okay, so tell us a little bit about your nighttime look. What inspired you? Audrey Hepburn, okay. Paris, Breakfast at Tiffany's. Yeah, she was that girl. The stripe with the lace, is that something you've done before? No, it was a new contrast for me, which I thought worked well. Thank you, Corey. You're welcome. Stylist, you can return to the workroom. Thank you. Okay, so let's discuss Blair's look. I think Blair was really creative. She really thought about different ways that she could utilize each piece, and tucking the dress into the pants is not something that everyone would think of. No, I don't think I would ever think of that. Yeah. In terms of execution, I mean, there is a challenge at hand. She executed it. It was, you know, there's a dress under these pants, and then out comes a cocktail dress. I like the fact that she picked a bag that she thought could work for both situations. So Would I you want to carry it around at night, though, with all your stuff in it? I wouldn't want to do that, but I have done that. You gotta do what you gotta do, I guess. I almost think the nighttime look would have looked better with the yellow jacket over it to elevate it a little bit because I Agreed. think the outfit in and of itself was just too simple. I didn't really love the nighttime look. It seemed a little too straightforward. Mm -hmm. Like I didn't get a feeling of who is this girl that's wearing that and what, what is she saying with her clothing, which I think is what good fashion really is about. So Corey's look. I thought it was very elegant. Mm -hmm. I really did. It seemed like something that a very classy, chic lady would wear to work. I loved those red lace pants so much. They're I thought really they were cute. so sweet, and I loved that menswear-inspired flat shoe with the heavy lace. I thought that was so great how we paired that. I liked it because it also had some flair to it, and it was a little bit funky as well. Mm -hmm. You can see that she had a specific personal sense of style, and mm -hmm. I really like that about her. I totally agree. I really loved that he had that little element of her putting her hair down, because I think that's something that we've all done. You have your hair up all day, and then you think, okay, it's time to unwind, have a glass of wine, mm -hmm. and you take your hair down. Right. Well, I think we've reached our decision. Let's call the stylist back. Blair, your day look, the pants on trend. Very cool. I think it was a challenge to pick such a bold pant and then pair it with a bright yellow blazer. Not a fan. It's too much and it reminds me of a bumblebee. No yellow and black. However, we did all really agree that you were very creative and innovative when it comes to the changing of the dress. You used it as a top, and it's a great way to use an item in your closet that you might not necessarily think of using that way. Thank you. Corey, I really appreciate the day tonight aspect, that it wasn't too much fuss. There were some changes done that made it just enough of a difference, but it didn't seem like too much of a process. Thank you. There is one issue with that, though. Mm -hmm. Although we loved the pearl collar, we wondered if that really was something that a woman would want to wear at night when she wants to feel a little more sexy and a little bit more fun. Blair. You did not dress to kill. While many of the elements that you styled were on trend, altogether we felt like they just didn't work. I'm so sorry, but we really, really, really did appreciate your creativity. Thank you. Did a good job. Thank you. I'm in the bottom. I have been killed three times. Being a part of Glamour Magazine would be an absolute dream for me. I, in my heart, know that my grandfather's watching over me. And I just want to make him proud. That means Corey. You dress to kill. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. We really saw your inspiration for Audrey Hepburn, and we felt like the look was low maintenance and something that we could see ourselves wearing and wearing from day to night. Wonderful, wonderful. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. I pretty much wasn't surprised by the judges' decisions because I felt I executed it on point. Thank you both. We'll see you again soon. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Great job.
next time on Dress to Kill. Your challenge today is to style for a long road trip. The time was going so fast and I really wanted to make the look look right. All right let's go on that trip. <laughs> To see who dresses to kill next, subscribe to the Glamour channel, comment in the comments below, and follow us on Twitter at GlamourMag.